Hey everybody, this is Andrew from King Fit Training and we're gonna do a quick 30 minute boxing workout. All right, so we've got 30 minutes on the clock. Let's get started. The first thing I want everyone to do is keep your elbows in. We're just gonna ro uh, rotate that spine and we are going to warm up that body before we start punching. All right, we're warming up those abs, those lower back muscles, the muscles up and down the spine. Now I'm, I'm not let, I'm making my head go the opposite way than my body. Just so I'm getting a little bit more neck movement there, keeping those elbows in, nice shot. And now we're gonna open those arms up and it's kind of like you're throwing a football across the body, down and across. And then when you go here, this arm is staying like so. So we're just gonna do 10 each side. We'll say that's our first second. And you can't see my, my feet right now, but I am lifting that far heel just to take any torque off the knee. Nice, and I believe that's 10. We're switching sides, same thing, just other way. So you should feel a stretch right here in that shoulder and then in that, in that other uh, front of the shoulder on the other side. And then when I go back, I feel a good stretch here. So it's a little bit of everything there. Real great stretch. And 10, perfect. Let's get those rotators, elbows in line with the shoulders, make sure we're not Bringing those uh, shoulders up. I usually wear long sleeve shirts and pants when I'm warming up, just because it helps you warm up faster. In theory, I don't know. I sweat faster, so I, I mean, you know, you sweat is always a way to tell if your body's warmed up. Nice job. And now we're gonna keep those elbows by our side, and you're using those shoulder blades, squeezing those, those scapular muscles back by those shoulder blades to help those arms back. Now you're of course using your external rotators of that shoulder as well, um, but it's nice to get those scapular muscles activated as well. You really want to make sure those shoulders are warmed up before we continue on. Nice job. All right, now this is going to be a little bit of a balance challenge. You're just going to bring one leg up, bring that knee towards that opposite shoulder, nice and slow down. Try to control, try to control your weight with these. Ooh, almost lost my balance there. A good balance exercise, getting your, your nervous system ready to move. Keep looking at, because I think uh, some kids here for a Kung Fu class, Wushu, don't know they're at the park down the street. So, let you in on why I keep looking over my right shoulder. Nice job. Now we're going to do same with the back. So with this one, I grab that back leg. I'll show you a side view here. And I want to make sure I drop that hip, okay, and then other side. Just make sure you drop that hip. A lot of times... We try to keep it hiked up. Up here, we want to really drop everything. And you feel, should feel that stretch in that quad and the hip flexor up here. Here too, a little bit of a balance challenge. If this is hard for you, you can grab a cross. So my left hand grabs my right leg. It's a little bit easier. If you're having a, a little bit of difficulty is grabbing the same side. If you are, that could mean you're either real tight in that quad or you might be tight in that shoulder because you have to kind of stretch that shoulder and peck back there. I'm just dropping those legs. Nice job. Last one. Nice job. Okie dokie. One of my favorite active calf stretches is next up. We are going to do an active calf stretch now. So you're kind of in a downward dog position, right? Getting that, that butt up. And then we're just going to slowly bring one heel down as the other one lifts up slow. So you should feel that stretch. It's kind of a high calf stretch. So below that knee, you might feel this one. Nice, you might feel it all the way down to that Achilles. Just nice and slow here. Warming up those calf muscles. And we'll do another calf stretch here in a second, just because we want to work on that rotation as well. But first, let's get one leg back, okay? So just like that, that was a side view, this is forward. And I want you to bring that same side elbow as that knee that's in the front, bring it down towards the ground. And then I want you to open up Open that chest. We're just going to do three there. All the way down. And open up. Good. All the way down. And open up. Beautiful. Now we're going to stay in that same side. We're just going to drop that hip a little bit. You can see. You can do it without putting weight on that, on that leg. Or you can put that weight on that leg. I'm just going to go up and over. And rotate a little bit. This might be a little advanced. If you need to use a wall, that's totally fine. This is kind of a balance, a balance exercise too. 
Now focusing on balance, but it is a little challenging. Just doing three, nice job. We're gonna go back down to that push-up position, switching legs. Now we got that. If you're mirroring me, probably your uh, left side. I don't know. Your left leg, my right leg. Don't matter. You can do whatever you want. Just the other side. Bring that elbow into the inside of that same foot and up. Nice and slow. Don't rush these. If it's a little tight, you can bring your legs a little bit further up, and you don't have to go all the way down, okay? Just where you're comfortable. And again, use a wall if you think you need it. Beautiful. Then we're going to, after three, just kind of drop. Feel that. Feel those hips drop. Feel that good stretch in that back leg. Up and over. A little bit of rotation. That gets that deep uh, stretch in that iliac psoas, that psoas muscle. Nice. One more. Drop those hips. Up and over. And then a little bit of twist towards that front leg. Nice job. Oh, my gosh. Woo, I feel that stretch real good. We're about, we're about warmed up. Uh, if you're not feeling completely warm yet, if you don't have a little bit of perspiration, just a little bit of sweat, maybe those exercises one more time. You, you know, I don't think you can stretch enough when you're doing active stretches like that. Okay, so feel free to do those again. What I'm going to do, because I'm not completely warmed up, I'm going to take this first round of shadow boxing that we'll be doing together, and I'm going to just go nice and slow. I always recommend going slow in that first round of shadow boxing anyways because it helps you kind of focus on balance, focus on form, and we're not just going really fast. We can do all that fun stuff later. So. Uh, if you want to do that warm-up again, pause right now, do those video, do those warm-ups again, and, um, and then join us for the Chateau Boxing, which is next. The lovely EKF, everybody. You can't beat this. You just really can't beat this kind of place. You got all the sports, all the combat sports here. What a great culture. Everyone's so great to each other. Wushu. You got the Kung Fu. So great. All right, we're going to put three minutes on the clock. Now, this first... For this, first, for this first round of shadow boxing, we're going to go nice and slow, and we're going to focus on just keeping something moving at all times. It's our head, so you know I'm not just going to sit there, throw punches, and wait. I'm going to either be moving my head, I'm going to be moving my legs, right, small steps, I'm going to be throwing out punches as I take those steps, small movement. So something's always moving for that whole three minutes, right, we're flowing, we're flowing. Um, it's okay if you don't know exactly what you're doing. You can just focus on a couple of easy punches, the ones and twos. Move that head, move those feet. Just keep on moving, okay? Um, if you don't know how to move or how like certain punches to throw, you can look at other tutorial videos that I have on my page at King Fit uh, Training YouTube, or you know, there's tons of YouTube videos. I also have um, an online class that has lots of great videos and drills and stuff. If you're interested in that, give me an email shout out at kingfittraining at gmail. Kingfittraining at gmail, and you'll be able to uh, get those going. Hey, what's up, buddy? You here for open gym? Okay, so we just finished our warm up. Now we're going to be doing some nice, easy shadow boxing. So get in front of a mirror. Again, nice and easy. We're going real slow, focusing on balance, focusing on our um, form, and as I mentioned, I want something moving all the time. So if it's not your hands moving, it's your head moving. If it's not your head moving, it's your legs moving. Okay, so that's our goal for this first round of shadow boxing. Nice and easy. Three minutes on the clock. Here we go. I put my mouth guard in. I wear my mouth guard. I suggest you to get used to that air. Being out of your mouth, out of your, out of your lungs. It's going to make it a little bit harder to breathe. It's nice and easy. If it's not your hands moving, it's your head. Make sure those ones and twos are nice and long. You can see I'm not throwing with a lot of power. That's for later. I'm still getting everything warmed up, feeling that balance. You don't want to be a sitting duck. You don't want to be a heavy bag for your opponent. That's why you can get your movement. You can go forward and back. You can do angles. Clockwise, counterclockwise. But if you notice my feet, I'm keeping them pretty much in the same, same distance. When I'm moving forward, left foot forward. Moving back, right foot back if you're a traditional boxer. Clockwise, left foot first. Counterclockwise, right foot. Those elbows in. 
You want to get tagged in those ribs. Keep those hands moving. If you run out of ideas, if you run out of ideas when you're shadow boxing, you're definitely gonna run out of ideas when you're sparring. So keep that, that movement going. If you're a little more advanced or you're working that, that opposite footwork, you can turn over to that southpaw. Or if you're lefty, go righty. long time to actually fight the other side and we're no one's expecting you to do that but it's not bad just get used to that balance just in case you find yourself out of your normal stance you at least have a little bit of experience on this side like I, I don't really ever switch to southpaw because I'm not that good at southpaw <laughs> you got a minute break a couple of big breaths in and out Get your water if you want. You want to spend that last 30 seconds of your break going over some stuff. Yeah. Ooh, I got some energy today. Got my gum in my mouth, guard. That's pretty gross. Maybe we'll cut this out. We'll replace this with a uh, Looney Tunes cartoon or something like that. All right, we got about 30 seconds left. Um, Let's just do a nice, easy stretch, okay? Nice, easy stretch. Just want you to bring your hip out this way. Let your arm go above, hip out this way. Arm go above. There's no reason to waste that, that minute break. If we can get a little bit of movement. Drive with that hip. Oh, feel that oblique. That lat, get a good stretch. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going in five. And two, we got our second round. Same stuff here. Same stuff. Nice and easy. You can start to add a little bit more speed, a little bit more pop goes punches. If you're looking at yourself in the mirror, be really specific. Be really specific where you're hitting. Okay, so are you going at your own chin? Are you going at your own nose? Right? You can. Now, one thing I haven't been doing a lot of is those body shots. So make sure you get those body shots in there. Body a lot, a lot bigger than the uh, than the head, right? So a lot more to hit. And if you hit the chest or those shoulders, it's still they're still feeling that, and it still counts as a point or a blow, a scoring blow. If you're hitting somewhere in here, yeah, that's a scoring blow here. That's a scoring blow. As long as the sun's shining, if you put a flashlight or the sun in front of me, whatever is. The sun can hit. If it's in front of me, that's that's a scoring blow. Hit those, hit those lower body shots. Sounds moving. If you get a little tired, that's okay. Just move around. Move your feet. Move your head. Faint. It's always a great idea to faint when you're tired. Right? They don't know what's coming at them. And when you finally do come with them, at, they come with some punches at them. They don't expect them because you've been faint so much. Push, 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 push. Get those punches going. Huh. Now I've sped it up a little bit, and I can tell watching myself my form is starting to go a little bit. That's why it's good to start off slow. Just check in on your form. Can you keep that good speed up? Push, push, push. Keeping that, that form good. Keeping those elbows in. When you throw that one, there's that shoulder up. That two, I mean, that one. One, two. That three, is that shoulder up? Is that other side up like so? Uppercut, you know. 
How you feeling? Make sure it looks good. We're not going over a ton of form. Hey, there's a billion videos of this out there in form. Keep it moving. One of the biggest problems with shadow boxing and hitting the heavy bag is you stop moving. You learn how to move for a good three minutes, you're not going to have a hard time being able to uh, do that in the ring as well. Okay? Okay. I got a double end bag here. So, because I love that thing, I'm going to go hit the double end bag for the next round. If you don't have a double end bag, that's okay. I want you to keep working on that shadow, the shadow boxing on the mirror. Or if you don't have a mirror, you have a shadow, I hope. Everybody, let's cue the music. Me and my shadow strolling down that avenue. I didn't say I was a singer, guys. Okay, I hear most of those notes. Me and my shadow, not a soul to tell my troubles to. Okay, we are doing our third round, which is going to be with a double end bag if you have one. If you don't have a double end bag, you can do some shadow boxing in front of a mirror, or you can do something like hang a piece of rope over a tree or something and hit that, and that has an interesting way of coming back at you. I love hitting uh, boxing, uh, boxing and some rope. I look silly, but I don't care. We got three minutes already started. Let's go. If you're shadow boxing, just increase your speed a little bit more. <laughs> you're using that good, that good form. <laughs> Nice long ones and twos. <laughs> Have movement. Those jabs, they can be up like this, down like this, moving, moving. There's a thousand ways to start that jab. Ooh, miss that one, big. You see that? Wide hook. <laughs> I want it a little bit closer. That's what I'm working on. Find out what you're working on. <laughs> shadow boxing because this comes back at you a little bit it goes from being a head when you punch it to being a glove when you have to slip it that pull back whatever it might be cool we got one more round Woo! so during this 30 second break ask yourself what could you have done better for me my hooks were a little bit too wide you would have saw those a mile away. Um, 
I was getting short on my punches versus keeping them nice and long. It's a habit I have. And then uh, I'm sure there's a thousand other things, but those are the two that I'm focusing on. We just want to get better and better, okay? Every day I come to the gym, get try to improve something. Here we go. Here we go. Three minutes on the clock. <laughs> Actually hooks again. Thank you, those punches long. Hey, it's that right hand back quicker. <laughs> my left hand short and drop, I try to go and catch it. That happens a lot. You want to start dropping those hands as you get a little more tired. Okay, so we did two rounds of shadow boxing, four if you didn't have a double end bag, and then we did two rounds of double end bag, so two shadow, two double end bag, using the head movement footwork. Now we're going to go to the heavy bag. I try not to use the heavy bag too much because you, you only work a heavy bag and you don't have good habits, you kind of become a heavy bag. So I like to make sure we get a lot of movement before we start doing this. Now, in the last video I did, uh, we showed you kind of some ways to continue to move around the bag, more rotational movement. And then we did a, spot, a speed drill and then we did a power drill. So kind of doing some speed work. So this time we're gonna focus a little bit more on um, throwing combos. So I'm gonna do one of my least favorite drills and that is uh, one, three, five, seven, nine, right? So you're going up the pyramid, you do a uh, one punch combo, three punch combo, five punch combo, seven punch combo, nine punch combo. This one's hard for me, well, not only physically and cardiovascularly, but also, um, combo wise because you know for some reason this one makes it hard for me to want to throw those combos out. I'm kind of like what number was I at? So I think that's great because the more you're uncomfortable in the in the gym the more you have to adapt right they say you know it's uh, 
you gotta get comfortable being uncomfortable. So this is a drill that kind of messes with me. I dislike it. So of course I want to do more of those. That makes sense, right? Uh, so grab your, uh, your, um, your gloves and hit the heavy bag with me. If you don't have a heavy bag, you can do this drill in front of the mirror. So you're gonna be throwing a one punch combo, a three punch combo, a five punch combo, seven and then nine, okay? Then you go back down to seven, five, three, one, and back up, okay? So keep the movement. I don't want you to stopping, okay? If you forget what your number is, just kind of move that head around. If you're real tired, you can uh, just kind of move around, fainting, moving that head a little bit, okay? We try to replicate what it's like to be in a sparring match or a competition as much as possible, right? Perfect practice makes perfect. Sometimes we don't have people to move around with, but this gives you an opportunity to work some uh, elements of the game you might not have. One being, and I'll shut up after this, one being that we have a tendency to want to throw the same number of punches when we do our combo. So uh, an opponent might be like, oh, they love to throw three punches and get out. This is a great way for you to get out of your comfort zone and have to throw more of a certain punch, okay? If you got a mouth guard, put it in, uh, not only until you get used to it, but also because hitting a heavy bag can be a little bit more, uh, you know, impactful on your, on your head. So this is just gonna help absorb some of that, whatever it is, that force. Okie dokie, let's get ready. I gave you a long break there, guys. So we got three minutes, three minutes. I'm flat. Here we go. Starting one, one, two, three. I got an extra ton of mouth. One, two, three. Still moving around to you like it's a real opponent. You don't have to hit hard, you can build speed, power, slow your work, that um, form, whatever you want. What number was I now? We're going to seven. <laughs> That one keeps you guessing. Woo! Nice work. So, that was the pyramid one through nine. This time, for the first minute and a half, we're just gonna go in one direction clockwise. 
and we'll switch to counterclockwise, okay? That means you're keeping your feet the same, but you're just gonna be going in one, one direction versus the other, okay? So, you know, explore those punches, those combos, see what feels good for you. Maybe you'll find something out. Um, for whatever reason, if you get stuck, stuck in a, a fight where you have to get away from one of those power hands, you circle the other way, you'll have some experience going one direction. So it doesn't matter if you're going speed, power, slower just to get your form. It doesn't matter, we're just gonna go the same direction, okay? Here we go. I'm starting clockwise. I'm gonna start slow. <laughs> Make sure I feel good and balanced. Sometimes I like to fake, go on one way, go the other. We try to keep those feet going, same direction. Switch sides. Directions, I mean. You'll find one side a little harder. This side's harder for me. All right, one more round, and then you can get out of here. That is our third heavy bag round. This time, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kind of follow it forward and back. So we did rotational, we did mess with combos. This time I'm just gonna go forward and then back. Okay, so kind of work a little bit more offensive, more aggressive, going forward and going back. Now you don't have to go straight back in a line. That'll be a little bit, uh, Easy to read, so if you're going forward, you can kind of do a little, you know, and then back. You don't want to ever go straight back. Not more than a, a foot or two. Okay, so again, if you don't have the heavy bag, do this with your shadow boxing in front of that mirror. Imagine that opponent's there in front of you, and we'll get going. Here we go, so I'm going to start nice and slow. <laughs> Make sure I consider it. So I got a little bit of swing in there, so I want to try to keep that at distance for most of the time, especially when I'm going back, right? As I go forward, you know, I'll go, so you can see a little bit better here. Back, so I can kind of come at an angle if I go forward, same two. 
I don't have to be right in front of it, okay? If you want to get a little more push on it, feel free to get it going. Yes. I'll just try to get back. Let me see close. How fast can I get back to that long jab? So much taller guy in my boxing. Wait that. So I want to be far away with those longer ones and twos. Right? Give a little push. Hear that guard up? Moving ahead. How can you move back? You see, it doesn't have to move much, but you keep on going back and forward. That really helps you get used to moving. Okay, we're gonna end that right now for y'all that are just doing the 30 minute class. So you can take your gloves off and we're gonna do a couple stretches on the ground, okay? That first one being, you're gonna be on all fours here. I'll give you a second. Take those gloves off or pause the video. Here we go, elbow down to the knee. There we go. I'm trying to pull with this hand all the way back towards the corner of the room. This hand, you can leave it there, or if you want a little more advanced stretch, get it in front of you and try to walk to the other side of the room nice and long. My left hand's above me. I'm going to try to go to two o'clock and maybe get in one. So really pulling with one side down and the other one up. Nice job. We're going to switch sides, 30 seconds on the other side. Here we go. Oh, wow. Trying to pull your shoulder, should be on the ground. You should be feeling that stuff right here in that shoulder capsule. The rear delts. Big breath in and out. And again, if you want, walk that hand up. And the other one's trying to walk towards the, the corner of the room, trying to pull. So you really get a good stretch in the shoulders. In three, two, one. Beautiful job. Nice work. Okay, uh, next up we're doing the cat dog. It's really easy. We should really be doing this every day. But since we're boxing, we're always kind of like this. It's good to get that, that back extended as well. Try to take a big breath in. As I go into that arch back. And I breathe out as I go down. Pushing away from the ground. Trying to get those shoulders Oh, as far away from the ground as possible. It's like crutch. There you go. Big breath in. And up. Nice. We got about 15 seconds left. Big breath in. Nice. 
All right, so we're going to that cobra. So with the cobra, you can be on the ground, just giving yourself a little bit of help, a little bit of extension. That might be all that you can do right now. That's fine. Or you can push up, get a little bit more stretch, keep that chin taut. So you want it to be comfortable. My hips are on the ground. Can't tell because this is here. My hips are on the ground here. This is a comfortable spot for me to be, to be shoulders down and back. Hey, what's going on? Hey, how are you? Long time no see. Really good. How about yourself? I'm good. Good. There we go. Wonderful. Let's come back to a seated position. And we'll just get a little abductors here. So we've all done this. This is a gym. Oh, kindergarten gym good. exercise one on one. So I'm just trying to bring those uh, heels real close to my groin area and then I'm keeping my chest up and what I like this is also a nice little shoulder stretch because I'm bringing that chest up as I relax those these uh, adductors you can push down some people like to push down I feel like uh, just keep my chest up and then if I want to lean forward a little bit I get a really good stretch so I don't have to really push them down we're not bouncing I've been told that's bad I've been told it's good I don't know I just don't do it just holding and breathing. Let that breathing be the movement for you. As you breathe, you expand that, that chest and those lungs with fresh air, and that kind of gets you a good stretch. Nice job. <laughs> Wonderful work. And lastly, we're going to go down to our back, and we are going to let one leg go long. The other leg, we're putting our hand behind our knee. We're just going to straighten that knee, and then bend it. Straighten, and bend. You can also do this at the beginning of a a workout to warm up those knees, get those hamstrings ready, especially if you do kicks. And each time, relax that head, I'm just looking at myself. Each time I go up, I try to go a little bit further up. It's a great way to end if you've been doing a lot of footwork drills because all that blood is pulling to your feet. You want to get back to the organs so you can get that big meal. I saw this side, so you can get that big meal protein and carbs after your workout. Good, let's take that one. If you've noticed one side is a little tighter than the other side, take note of that and then you'll spend a little bit extra time after you're done with that second side on that tighter side. Keep that the hips down and and nice and square, I'm not letting one ride up. Everything else is relaxed against the ground. Beautiful. Okay. If you have any, any other stretches you want to do, feel free. Uh, I am now going to go for a run. So if you still have some energy, go for a run. Um, you can do just a long run, steady pace, or uh, you can add some power to it. I'm doing sprints uh, for about 100 yards and then doing about four or 500 yards uh going a little bit slow getting my heart rate down so you say what you want to do let me know what you do again if you want this uh the free online on demand class get a hold of me at kingfittraining at gmail.com that is kingfittraining at gmail.com we can get you set up with that or check out some other videos that we've done we got kettlebell videos warm-ups boxing tutorials all kinds of fun stuff we'll see you on the next one Peace.